Hey guys, it's Maggie here from Real Bird Electronics and today we're doing some Q&A about Circuit Scribe. So these are questions that our customers have raised with us and we're going to try and answer them here today. So, first question. Does the pen require special paper um, like some conductive pens do? Nope. This will pretty much work on any paper um, and you can just draw the line and create a circuit. Uh, question two. What surfaces does pen and ink work on? Well, it works on pretty much anything a regular ballpoint pen will work on. So you can use it on cardboard, paper. We've done um, uh, drawn a circuit on wood and that's worked. Um, the conductivity just um, varies depending on how much of the um, ink gets sucked to the surface and that sort of thing. Uh, next question. Can I write on fabric or plastic? Fabric, not so much. Um, because it's non-lossy, it just gets absorbed and smears and breaks the circuit. Uh, next question. Are refills available for the pen separately? No. <laughs> the pen doesn't need to be refilled. When you use up one pen, get a new one. Uh, next question. My pen doesn't look full. Um, this can happen because the silver particles tend to settle in one spot. So before you start using it, just give it a little shake and they will redisperse. Uh, question, how far can I draw with one pen? Well, Circuit Scribe themselves say that a single pen can go 60 to 80 meters. I haven't tried this stuff. I have never run out of a single pen. Uh, question, what is the shelf life of the Circuit Scribe pen? Um, they say about a year when they're unopened. Um, once they're opened, about six months, but then the tip might begin to dry out, so it's just a case of scribbling it to get it started again. Anyway, those are our questions on Circuit Scribe. If you've got any more, ping us an email to team at littlebirdelectronics.com or else chuck a comment down in the notes. Remember to subscribe to us on YouTube. Bye.